Hi everyone, it's Mr. Agus here today for reading. Today we're going to have a go at the book called Shark in a Sack. Okay, and that's the front cover and I can't even see a shark in it, so I don't know what's going to happen. Just remember that I'm reading one of the books that might be in your pack. If not, that's okay. So I'm going to read the book and then I'm going to have a go at the activity. So it's called Shark in a Sack. I'm going to use my, my mouse here to point under the words for me. So Shark in a Sack. Whoa, there's the shark. Shark in a sack. Can you put a shark in a sack? Doesn't very look very comfortable for the shark there though. Can you put a horse in a car? Oh, that looks a bit tight for the horse. Can you put a bear in a box? I don't think I could put the bear in that box. That box looks, looks way too small. Can you put a possum in a jar? The possum doesn't fit in the jar. There we go. Yes, I can. Yes, I can. Yes, I can. That person did a really good job putting everything in the right box. Oh, we missed a page. Better go back and read this one. So it says, can you put a hen in a hat? Can you put a pig in a pan? Can you put a lollipop in your mouth? And then we know they say, yes, I can. Yes, I can. Yes, I can. So see how I missed that page when I was reading? It's really important if we miss a page that we go back and we read that page because otherwise we might miss some really important information in the book. We'll miss out on seeing a really cool picture. Like I think that pig seeing in the pan is really cool. Okay, so now that I've had a read of all of that, I need to have a go at my activity. So I've got my activity here, and like I said, this could be an activity in your pack. So I have to read the words, and the words up here say sack, car, box, jar, and hat. I have to match the word over here in the picture to the picture from the book, and I have to write the word on the side. So it says horse here, and then the horse has got a line to the car. So this one here says possum. What did the possum go into in the book? It wasn't the sack. It wasn't the car. I think it was the jar. Yes, it was the jar. So I'm going to make a line and put it all the way down there to that one there. So I'm going to have a go at that activity. I'll show you how I've gone when I finished. Okay, so I've had a go at my shark in a sack activity. So what I was able to do is I was able to line up each of the words, so all these pictures here, so it matches the rest of the sentence. So the first one here says possum, so I was able to do a line to the possum and then write over there to finish the sentence. So possum in a jar. Okay, that's how I've had a go at that one. Remember, if you've got this activity, you can have a good go and have a go like how I did it. You might have to colour in your pictures as well when you do it. Okay, just remember to stay with your reading, make sure that you have a go at your activity and make sure you get your your mum, dad, auntie, uncle, whoever you live with to send through lots of photos of your learning as well. All right, good luck.